Hey LEGO fans, Anthony here, and I have a cup of blue bricks. Hey guys, uh, I recently made a trip to the Lego store to get some brick from the wall. Uh, as you probably are aware right now, you can't get the bricks yourself. So you have to ask uh, the wonderful brick specialists to get them for you. Um, so I was curious, um, and, and you know, most of us will take our time when we're getting brick to pack the cup all nice and neat and get the most, most bricks we can. And so, you know, obviously they can't do that right now. They have other customers um, they're packing it for us. They're doing the best they can. But I was curious to see uh, how their pack compared to what I would do. And am I getting a good value for it? Uh, should I just buy them on BrickLink? So let's unpack this and see what we got. Okay, guys. So we know that right now we can't pack our own bag, our own, uh, our own cups, rather. And uh, we have to ask the wonderful brick specialist to do it for us. And so I was curious to see how their packing method uh, compares to what I would do and see if uh, we're getting, you know, somewhat close to a, a, a normal value that we would get if we were packing our own cups. So um, I just asked for a full cup of these um, two by two uh, standard blue bricks. And this is what I got. So what I wanna do is try to pack this um, how I would normally pack it and see what we get out of it. <laughs> So uh, I did a few different methods in there um, to try a few things. And you can see that there's there's definitely some space that that's not maximized, um, but that's the, that's the situation we have right now because we can't uh, get the bricks off the wall for ourselves. So uh, what I want to do now is uh, get a get a good count of how many are in here, and then take a look at the the price of a cup versus whether I bought this many on uh, Bricklink. So let's go ahead and get a count and then do some math. Okay, hang tight. Okay guys, so I have roughly 200, well exactly 211 pieces that I got out. These are stacks of 10, there's 50, 50, 50, 50, 200, 10, 11. Um, so when we do the math on this, uh, what is a cup? $16.99 divided by 211 equals, I, I roughly got these at about 8 cents a piece. So yeah, I did pay tax. Um, but I also got them on a full day and I did get the reward points. So let's just, let's just stick with the eight cents a piece. So what we are curious here is if we could get a better deal on BrickLink. So let's take a look. So I did, did the math, uh, or did the calculations on where I buy USA, um, new pieces I already set it up. Um, so I'm looking for someone who's got at least 211 and where they sell them for. So here's a seller that has 270 and they're four cents a piece. So that's half of what I paid. So obviously um, it would have been better to just buy them on BrickLink at this point. Even with shipping, I doubt that shipping would have been more than $4 uh, first class mail. So let's uh, take a look, do the, uh, do the math. So 211 times 0 0.04, uh, it's eight bucks. And then let's just guess at $4 shipping. And, oh, wrong, wrong buttons. $8.44 plus four, um, 12 bucks. So, um, you know, I did get a discount for a full day. So, you know, it's, it's close there. So here's the thing. Um, I don't know. It's still fun to get Lego from the Lego store um, in a cup. So, you know, figure out what's best for you. Um, 
So with these, I got 211 pieces in there when they pack it. Um, you figure out the math if it works for you. So uh, take care. Uh, and really, please try not to critique my packing methods because uh, we have all have our own. So take care and we'll see you next time.